Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make wire tester for cleaning fuel injectors. Since I'm getting so many questions about how I made one and what we need for making one. So I'm gonna show you the hardware that we will need to make a wire tester and the hose adapter for cleaning fuel injectors. We're gonna start with the hose adapter. We need a hose with 30mm outer diameter and 8mm inner diameter. And we're gonna cut it about that much. So for making wire tester, we're gonna need a push switch like that, some shrink tubes, an alligator wire we're gonna solder the push switch on a power line just like that next we need a straw to fit on a carb cleaner can they always come with a spray can and we're gonna glue the straw just like that the glue i'm using is a ca glue it comes with a glue and activator it worked for me so far that's why i'm always using it a hose clamp will be helpful for the other side of the hose for holding the fuel injector while we pressurize it with a carb cleaner so you don't have to worry about popping out while cleaning it few sprays of the activator inside the hose and on the straw will help the glue to cure and not letting it run into the hose while we hold the straw in the center and then we're gonna fill the rest with the glue and that is it and here is the hose adapter always remove the o-ring and the filter strainer of the fuel injector that you wanna clean before inserting with the hose adapter the reason I always use hose adapter first I can use it for cleaning different size fuel injectors and second, we can use it for cleaning backwards too. Sometimes we have to clean it backward when there is small particles stuck inside. I've seen so many people using syringe like that. But you have to trim the o-ring a little bit so it fits inside. And if you trim the o-ring too much, it will leak cleaner. And you need to hold it with your hand otherwise it will push it out. But with the hose adapter, you won't have that problem. And no need for extra o-ring for trimming. Next, we're gonna be working on the wire tester. Let's cut the red wire about that much and clean the ends. Put the shrink tubes on and solder the wires. The reason I use push switch, because we're gonna be holding the fuel injector with one hand and the push switch and the carb cleaner with the other hand. We only need to open the fuel injector when you push the switch and off when we release the push switch and make it work like it's on the engine. And the last step I like to do, put a zip tie with the ground wire so it doesn't tangle up when we're working on the fuel injector. For powering up the fuel injectors, we're gonna need a 9 volt battery. You just have to connect one end of the alligator wire on the battery and the other end of the fuel injector. You should hear the clicking sound when you're pushing the switch. That's not the switch sound, it's the solenoid sound inside the fuel injector. If it doesn't make sound, it means the fuel injector is dead and you're gonna have to buy new ones. For cleaning, you have to put the hose adapter on the fuel injector and tighten the hose clamp. And then insert the straw on a carb cleaner or a choke cleaner. And then power up the fuel injectors. With the palm of your hand, push the cleaner and push the switch with the thumb, just like I do here. I have some detailed videos how I clean fuel injectors and using many techniques. I will put the videos in video description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. Hope I covered everything for making hose adapter and the wire tester for cleaning fuel injectors. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.